Hi, this is Ron McCheap playing Hunter on PC today. We're joined by my dog. His name is Hodor. So if you see him in the field, you know what to call him. Seems very happy. These are the scent hounds. He's just been released today. Looks like he's ready for action. He's got the vest on and the collar. Uh, we're going to take a close look at him. And we're going to take him out in the field. We're going to do some tracking because that's his job. See if it's fun, if it does have a purpose of being added to the game. It does look very nice indeed. I love how they've animated him. One thing with the Labradors which they added, uh, it was a bit wild. My dog's sausage was absolutely crazy and he just ran anyway. But these dogs seem a bit more uh, to do as they're told I should say. Um, got these commands like you do the Labrador. It's a different one there though and it's um, track blood. So I'm going to tell him to come here and we'll see what he's like. I've only just got him so he's going to be low level. Here he comes. Normally sausage will be off over to right or left anyway. So it seems like he's going to follow me. Yep, he's actually going where I want to go so that's a good start. One thing I do say is they, they look better than any dogs I've ever seen in any other game so they have done a great job with how they move and all the little animations are really good. Some people take the dogs uh, with them hunting for sort of a companion because often a lot of people play the single player so that adds to the realism and the fun of the game. Some people will use them for tracking animals now that's the one thing I'm quite interested in seeing. I want to see how good he is at tracking animals so Hodor you best be doing your job so we've just got a call from a red deer he's in front of me now Hodor's looking over to where he is and what I'm going to try and see is I've got a rangefinder got a nice male uh, red deer coming in I want to see if I can get the red deer in close and it doesn't spook because of the dog so I've kept calling him the red deer's coming in and hopefully the dog doesn't spook him. He's been well behaved, I've told him to sit. As I said previously, um, Sausage, my Labrador, he would just run anyway. If I told him to sit now, he'd be off somewhere or galloping around in circles. But one thing they've just said about that is they're going to adjust the Labrador and make it a lot better. So probably more like this. So if you own Labradors, that's really good news as well. So they're going to be useful uh, tools in the game. So I'll keep calling the, the red deer. It's going to take a little time, but I just want to show that the distance that red deer comes in is going to be within shooting range of literally anything. And it's not the dog spooking it. As you can see, I've got his head, the uh, Hodor's head and uh, the red deer in the same scope. So hopefully we're just going to keep calling it in and it doesn't spook. Hodor is a male, there is obviously females as well, so you can pick whichever you want. Red Deer's at 42 meters, so I'm quite happy at that to be honest. Um, that's quite easy to hit with a bow. I'm going to call him and see if he comes any closer. Hodor hasn't moved yet either, so that's good as well. So he's doing as he's told, and I've only just got him, so. Well, there's a fox here as well. So we've got uh, a red deer and a fox in the rangefinder. It's a red deer I'm going to shoot though. I've got a bolt rifle on and uh, I'm just going to shoot in the side. And then uh, we're going to track it. Hodor hopefully owns his, uh, his keep now. He seems pretty calm, he hasn't moved so all is good. And uh, the red deer is approaching. Look at that, 30 meters. And it's still not spooked. It has seen me now, but that is very good. I'm very happy with that look. So, we shoot the side. And there we go, we've hit it. I'm going to take. Uh, oh, look, he's alert now. You see his back, it's all gone uh, ridged. I think he's ready to rock and roll. Come on, Hodor, it's time to earn your keep. We'll take a quick look. It's nice how we've done the arch back. Dogs like that um, 
they often do things like this so that's very realistic so I'm going to take him over now to the tracks I'm going to click on track blood and then he should hopefully get the scent and then start tracking come on hold up this is what I've got you for and you keep alright, I'll click the blood is he going to track? he is now because I'm clicking it, come on he's turning looks like he's got the scent, he's got his nose down <laughs> that's great I do like how they've added that, that's perfect so there's a yeah, look, he's gone straight to the next track. I've just got a little notification there. So this is what I really want to know about now. Is he going to get confused by old track or is he going to go to the, the new one? Because it's fleed in a different way. So that alone is can be quite confusing sometimes. No, nope, he's going up the hill and there's the old track down there to the left so he's not got confused, he's gone straight to where the red deer is actually gone and not the old track so that alone is, is very useful especially when you're tracking deer and sometimes you might get confused which is old, new uh, new players especially, that will help them out a lot also he's at low level as I've just said and he's, like I say, he seems to be just going straight to where the next track is as you can see it's not that obvious straight away where it is so I'm just gonna follow him let him do the tracking that way I know he's working yep he's, he's on to the next one like I say I'm not looking where the tracks are he's just going to them so uh, Hodor definitely does what he's supposed to do He's a scent dog, a tracking dog, and he seems to do that very well. Also, you get the companion uh, aspect and the fun aspect. So, well worth buying. Where's the next uh, track? He's on to it. So, I'm very impressed. I just got a level 2 stamina there on uh, Hodor. So I haven't tracked him at all, the dog's tracked him and he's gone straight to each track. Oh he's here, he's the red deer. <laughs> the Hodor's letting me know by barking when he's found the animal which is a very nice touch. So as you can see the scent hand does exactly what he's supposed to do. He tracks very well, even at low level, it's going to be a kiss I think. Um, he's as good as a companion and fun very useful and the spook the spook radio so I'm really impressed with it it didn't spook the red deer even right close up so there's nothing there to worry about and they're a fun addition so very impressed with it indeed let's take a trophy shot of the red deer he's still alive I think I'm gonna have to dispatch him and try and get uh, Hodor to sit down for the trophy shot let's just uh, finish this red deer off with a recurve and then we'll take the trophy shot. Right, oh, his uh, antlers have landed pretty nice as well. Let's just collect him and see what he scores. Come on, Hodor, over it. Trophy shot time. Here he is. Let's sit down. Right, let's collect the red deer. What does he score? It scores 239 so nice red deer got him up pretty close uh, we've been taking a look at the scent hounds with my dog Hodor hope you've enjoyed the first look at the scent hounds my name's Ron McChew please subscribe to my YouTube channels and keep an eye out for more hunter content from me thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video